Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we live in nature, with nature. The concept is too vast to grasp anything of it and doesn't make sense and it's useless. We need bite-sized portions of understanding so that we can move forward. We are still in a drought in Andalusia and uh, the village receive uh, 12 hours of water per day and 12 hours it's cut off. The dams are only 15% full. The rain we did receive did not penetrate the soil deeper than meter, meter 20. We have been away for four days and we had two inches of rain, 52 millimeters. Now the observations is that when the rain does fall on our land, we are perfectly skilled and prepared and experienced to handle that rainfall. It enters the swales, it stays there, it gets absorbed, and this is exactly what we want. We have also learned that uh, water that does fall on the land of the neighbors and come to us that is a whole new ball game. Something we are slow to uh, have a handle on, be skilled in. So the rain came, created a beautiful beach for us. The temperature yesterday was 23 degrees Celsius, which is quite spiff. And uh, for the fifth time, washed away our weir. And every time we go and we collect our rocks from lower down and bring them back here. It's not that serious. It just shows us that we are not equipped to deal with this millions of liters of water that come this way. I'm just happy here the water in the creek is clean, clear, beautiful. We have three systems of dealing with water. This swell system it receives water from the rainfall on this land and then the water is supplemented via a uh, culvert under the road and we have experienced that um, we still are unable to control the amount of that water coming this way these wells are limited um, it's not about building bigger swells that we can do, but it's not a real step forward. We have water coming from up there, from the culvert. It used to flow down here, but I've designed a new flow this way. And for the first time, I allowed most of the water to come towards the upper part. So it came down here and started breaching this berm, washed away this area. At least we can now see the roots of the asparagus we have planted. It also appears that water comes down that little creek and then 
we breached over here, deposited all the soil in there, and then went through the fence, and the water is gone. So we are not that skilled with this extra water. We are learning the quantities and we can deal with it. This erosion gully, uh, the idea is to fill it, not remove it, just change the depth of it, make it more shallow and wider. We have deposited lots of brush in there, but this was not an issue because I have diverted all the water to the upper system. This is the eastern culvert. It brings a lot of water because the runoff from this road it's collected in this point, it comes this way, first gabion to pacify the flow, and then here I experimented by getting most of the water through to the upper swell by putting in this plastic protection, but um, it was too much. So I will have to be a little bit more wise and learn from the experience to get a system here where I can divert it right next to the fence. One, upper swell two, lower swell three, and then let the water come through to this country road when it is too much, then I have control over the water. At this stage, it's not within my grasp. I have, the water has the control and not me. We are learning. I'm making my way towards the east, sorry, the west. I'm coming from the east. And this is where we have the culvert with the creek. And uh, this is a torrent, especially in autumn. And because of my little wall I've built there, I have a lot of buildup of sand, which is not good. I also have a lot of erosion next to it. All the rocks I've placed there were washed down, even as far as over there. This is another attempt to supplement the rainwater that does flow, uh, fall on this land. We have managed to structure ourselves well to handle the rainwater on the land but uh, we are not doing so well with water coming from the neighbor's land we are thankful for that but we will have to do better a lot of debris build up behind the pipe which is not good it will break this whole system Fortunately, I did put in some screws there at the first bend. So, water from the creek, pipe system into a swale. I could not build the swale anywhere else. It's the only place that made sense because of the trees. And then this pipe system enters the swell system here 
and then also brought a lot of sand with it it should be managed also water coming from here and it joins the system the swell system puts more pressure on it the water coming this way so this is a swell system that collects rainwater on our land plus it receives water from the creek in a controlled way which is good for us we can manage that this is still the continuation of the swell system the extra additional water from the tube came down here it's only 25 centimeter 10 inches the pipe but an enormous amount of water reached this area the water coming from the pipe next to the creek eventually comes this way because i didn't want more water in the pond i could divert it here runs into the next swale lower and then go it runs right to the northern border that's what i want controlled flow this is the last part of the swell before it reaches the pond i've also made an escape a diversion here get the water flowing over the land and not into the pond which is theoretically full i just have to adjust the spillway the water uh, is appears to be low but all the soil on top is topsoil um, the core of the dam wall is intact the topsoil sagged and the uh, uncompressed soil inside the pond also sagged but the middle portion holds well there is seepage but it came from seeping through the topsoil here i will lower this spillway to make sure it doesn't seep over the core and the water comes this way these swells are full of water from rainwater just to summarize we have rainwater on the land that we managed to trap and to use we have supplemented water from the culverts and some of them very well managed and then we have water running down the erosion gully and the creek that we are still unable to have a handle on we have learned a lot we can implement many new structures till next time goodbye